think one of the biggest um, like mental blocks I had about maybe leaning into leadership was I opted out of it because one is I'm uh, a bit more of an introvert. You know, I, you know, enjoy hanging out at home and reading or doing other things. I'm like, hey, listen, I'll, I'll leave leadership to the extroverts because they've got to spend all their time with people. Um, and I think uh, maybe it was the Peter Drucker book that I read that I, I was like, well, I, at some point I did have really good managers, right. Who were a bit more, um, you know, I, I've seen a var variety of styles, but the P Peter Drucker book was, was fascinating around him actually studying leaders and going, listen, like if there's one quality trait that's similar between all these people who've had like really important leadership jobs, not just, you know, nothing to do with technology, but prime ministers and leaders of like companies have had like innovated crazily is um, uh, the actual habits they have, not, not what their personality type is. Right. And that, that got me into cool. Like what habits do people have who've been, who've been able to make an impact on this planet that we have. And, and he talked about three things. And when, when he talks about those three things, I'm like, Oh, I like doing those things. <laughs> right. I think that I'll just by memory, right. The three, like, I, I think he has a list of, of like 11 like habits, but they can be collapsed into three things, right? Like being um, really ruthless about getting knowledge you need to make decisions, right? Like getting context, like, like super context hungry, um, acting on that and working as a team, like building a great team that does it. I'm like, so when I was like, oh my God, you just described exactly what I like doing, you know? So that, that took out the personality type and turned it into habits. And I thought that was a really good mindset thing that, that, that allowed me to, to really lean into leadership, I think, and go, cool, I can do this. Cool. It's not, you know, I, I, I guess I, I went from opting out to opting in based on, on, you know, some of, some of that feedback, which I, and, or maybe people shining a light on something that's always been there, but I, I hadn't seen it as, as crisp. Um, and, and also I know there's a really good book. I forget what it's uh, called again. I have a bad memory for book names, but around, around introverts, right. Around like there's a, you know, 50% of the world, I guess, if you draw a line on personality types, like people are on that side. And, um, uh, you know, I've learned how to like, fake things as well right and actually there's in that book they say a lot of great actors actually are more introverts because you have to practice a bit more so i do have to put a lot more effort into it and it's i've, I've used that as a bit of a catalyst um for things so yeah it was so i mean maybe to sum up um uh i had a, a block like a mental block about being an introvert and it you know it, it took some people and some books to give me a good kick in the ass to to wake up and realize that that uh, it, it could be a positive thing and I had to, you know, let's not opt out of leadership because of that.